Is distraction a killer of your focus in your life? You know what I mean? You're meant to be focused on something, you're really distracted, and you don't actually do the focus work. Well, today I wanna to share a simple, simple tool that I've added to my life, which has given me to the next level of being focused. If you wanna be more focused with your time, make sure you watch this video. I love this concept of, if I'm trying to focus on something for an hour, like 60 minutes, how many of those minutes can I actually stay focused on the activity that I'm trying to do? And I think for a lot of people, not many would actually get to 60, and a lot of people might be 40, 30, and maybe even less. And this is a really interesting problem that many of us have in today's world. This is a problem of the ability to stay focused on an activity or a task that we're trying to do. And that task can be work, it can be a hobby, it can be you know, a conversation you're having with someone. Just here's something I'm trying to focus on and my ability to stay focused on it. And within my life, I'm always trying to find tools to help myself improve and just get better at these types of things. And recently I introduced the most simplest tool to my life to do this, and it's like transformed my ability to get more out of my day and be more focused on the things that I'm doing. So, so I just wanna share it with you, and, and there's no need to muck around because it's really simple. The first thing I do is at the beginning of the day, I just write down what I'm trying to do within the day, but then what I do is when I get to a time, so let's say from for the next hour, I've got a task I've got to do within my job. It might be I've got to do these two components in the next 60 minutes. So the first thing I do is I write down on a piece of paper in front of me, here's what I need to do for the next 60 minutes. So here's the objective of the next 60 minutes. Then the next thing I do is I grab my, my phone, I put a clock stopwatch on my phone for 60 minutes. And then all I do is for the next 60 minutes, I work. And I keep working on that activity until the clock counts down to zero and I get that alarm going off. Now when I'm doing this tool, what I'm also doing is when that moment where distraction may come up, and let's be honest, this is the moment we have to fight. So there might be moments where I get distracted or it's getting the work's getting a little bit hard or I might think I'll jump on the internet or something like that. I remind myself the clock has not gone off yet. And that's, that's all I'm doing. But I've got to tell you, this has been a massively powerful tool in my life. Like when we go back to the concept of in a 60 minute block, how many minutes are you actually doing focus work? Right now, I actually think I'm probably hitting close to like 55, 60 minutes every hour that I do this tool. And the great thing about this tool is I'm not just doing it on work. So when I jump on my piano to practice my piano, I do it then. When I'm doing certain other activities, I'm giving myself the focus tool and it's giving me the ability to be more focused in my life. Now, one other thing I do do on the side of this is I also have micro breaks on the other side. So let's say I do that, that hour's work, and then let's say I've got four hours of work in front of me. So I might do 55 minutes with the alarm clock, and then I have five minutes where I might just go outside, get some fresh air, go grab a, go grab a drink, go talk to Joe or something like that, to come back in, reset the clock again, and work through another hour. And I've got to be honest, Again, as I said before, it's just been quite transformational in my life. And the really cool part about this is it's quite exciting because you've got to think of, if I can be better at using my time in more powerful, concentrated ways, I'm going to have more fast forward progression in the things that I'm trying to do. So my challenge to you is to practice this once in the next 24 hours. In an activity where you've got to be focused, and maybe distraction would take you away from your focus. It's a simple process. First of all, you determine the time frame. So I'm going to work for an hour on this activity. Secondly, you write down the objectives of that time, and then you set an alarm. And then as you're working through that time frame, whenever you get distracted, look back at your objectives and remind yourself, I'm gonna stay focused on this until my alarm goes off. I don't know, it's really worked for me, and I kinda of think it's one of those tools that's easy to apply, and you could probably get a lot of value from as well. So check it out, apply it to your life, and let me know if it makes a difference in your focus as well. If you enjoy my pieces and you wanna bring exercise into your life, you need to check out my book, I will make you passionate about exercise. This book is designed to be a step-by-step -step journey that teaches you the right lessons and experiences to guide bringing exercise into your life, not just for a moment, but where you get to the place where you have a long-term love of exercise. So you get fitter, you get healthier, you have great stress releases, and you feel amazing about yourself. This book has been hugely successful, getting to the top 10 in the world for health and fitness books. So if it's time for you to bring health and fitness into your life, go to Passion About Exercise, click on the link, go through the process, and you can be starting your journey of finding your love for exercise really soon.